In a remote part of Africa, a traditional culture is in danger. The people are losing their homes and could lose the crops that keep them alive because of a devastating drought and a plague of termites. They are everywhere. They are tunneling through the walls to reach the roof. They turn for help to an unlikely army, a unique species of ants called Jaglavac. Jaglavac, allow us to gather you up. We need you. With ancient rituals, they ask their ancestor spirits to help them save the village, to unleash the power of the legendary Jaglavac. But can the ants defeat the termites in time? Or will they turn their destructive force against the people? You are a powerful warrior. Drive the termites from the house. Save the chickens, the goats, the children. Only attack the termite. Up next on Nova, master of the killer ants. Major funding for Nova is provided by the following. We are the Mufu people, the people of the mountains. We survive thanks to the millet that we grow. To live here you have to work a lot, like all the insects around us. If you are lazy, even the ants have a better life, because they always manage to find something to eat. In the central African nation of Cameroon, along the Nigerian border, are the Mandara Mountains. This is the home of the Mofu people. For generations, they've farmed this land. Their main crop is sorghum. In the native language, it's referred to as millet. Every year, seeds are carefully planted, but only a few crops will grow in this poor soil. The cycle of life depends on a drenching rainy season. Without it, the people's survival is at risk because the precious seeds could simply blow away. And the Mofu also must confront another powerful natural force, insects. You see, Idrisu, our life is the same as the insects. Like us, they are looking to stock up on millet to feed themselves. Today, everyone is waiting for the rain. Without it, there's nothing to eat. Look, the black ant, Malokoteng, is already stealing the first seeds that we planted. This ant and the Dlirba termite are the ones that bother us the most. They eat our supplies when we forget to pay tribute to our ancestors. The month of May has arrived, and the rains are late. Elders meet with the chief to talk about the problems they face. And you, Sidi, do you have any problems? On top of the rain that is late in coming, I have another worry. The termite, Glirba, is attacking my walls and roofs and is getting dangerously close to my granaries. I have tried everything to destroy its nest, but I don't know what else to do. Does anyone have a solution? The only thing that can drive Dlirba out for good is the ant Jaglavak. When Jaglavak decides to hunt termites, they all flee and never come back. Jaglavak is a species of army ant, both respected and feared in this community. 
They hoped the ants might drive the termites out of city's house. But they also know that an invasion of Jaglavac can attack people and animals. Isn't there another solution? Jaglavac is not easy to find, and my roof has already collapsed. You have to respect the traditions. It's because you disregard all this that you have so many problems. So far, only one house is infested with termites. But the bugs could spread to the rest of the village. The elders decide the situation is critical. They agree to call on the power of the elusive army ant, Jaglovac. Listen, show me this termite mound and I will try to call Jaglovac. City's roof has already been destroyed in several spots by the termites. If he can't figure out how to get rid of them quickly, they could move on to attack the granary where he keeps food for his family. The elder, Mats Gravai, comes to the house with sacred powder to attract the Jaglavac ants to the termite mound. Come closer. The termite mound is just over here. They come here and climb up to the roof. Let's call Jaglavak. It will take care of this problem. Jaglavak, we need you. Jaglavak. Jaglavak, we offer you the ochre that you like. Jaglavak, hear our prayers. Do your children come here? Yes. Spare the children and the animals. Hunt only these termites in the house, Jaglavak. Look, the termite nearby is here. I hope that Jaglavak will answer our plea. A house like Sidi's, full of wood, straw, and seeds, provides an abundant supply of food for a termite colony. The destruction Sidi can see is only a tiny fraction of the damage hidden inside the walls. A network of tunnels runs deep underground. One termite colony can contain as many as half a million insects living in an intricately organized society. At birth, every termite is destined for a specific job. Soldiers, with large heads and powerful jaws, defend the mound. Workers, smaller and more compact, keep busy with the day-to-day -day functions of the colony. Collecting food, feeding the young, and constructing new tunnels to enlarge the mound. The most important job for the workers is taking care of the queen. She is literally the central life force of the colony. 100 times as heavy as the average soldier and 300 times heavier than a worker, she's the only termite that lays eggs. Without her, the entire colony will perish. The workers constantly clean her belly, swollen with thousands of eggs. Its surface is fragile, so dirt and other irritants must be removed to prevent rupture. As they rub against her abdomen, the workers stimulate muscle contractions necessary for egg laying. During a 10-year lifespan, one queen can lay as many as 5,000 eggs a day. That means hundreds of thousands of new termites. Inside a house, this constant supply of new bugs becomes a relentless, destructive force. Here, look. 
It's because of Dlirba that my roof has collapsed. They are everywhere. They must have been here for a while. They are everywhere in the beams. That's not good. They are tunneling through the walls to reach the roof. Yes, you can see the small holes they're making in the wall. If they attack my granary, they could bring it down as well. And if my granary collapses, what becomes of my millet? Are these termites going to help me rebuild it? Be patient. We'll soon see if they heard our prayers. Sidi hopes the prayers will bring Jaglovac to the house in a day or two. But the ants usually come out of the ground in the rainy season. Without rain, they're likely to stay hidden. At the village school, the reality of life with termites is part of the lessons. Les invertébrés. Qu'est-ce qu'un invertébré donc? Un invertébré donc, c'est quoi? Oui. On applaudit fort. Go by, and the much needed drenching.